Hey there everyone, my name is Bob Martin, the owner of 425 Romeo Tango, and I just want to take a few minutes and share with you some of the love and passion that I have for the Sakata Trinidad airplane, and more specifically this Sakata Trinidad. Uh, this particular plane is the TB21, which is the turbocharged version of the Sakata Trinidad. Uh, flight ceilings all the way up to 25,000 feet and uh, I constantly get 145 to 150 knots true airspeed out of this aircraft. It is the ultimate cross-country machine with many creature comforts that make long-distance travel exceptionally comfortable. Uh, taking a look at those landing gears you can see some trailing link gears in there that make every landing super soft it's a complex uh, high performance aircraft 250 horsepower uh, basically built like a race car when you sit in this thing you feel like you're driving a ferrari so some of you may not actually be familiar with the cicada line of aircraft but they've been building general aviation aircrafts since the early 1900s Really, the thing that stands out most about the Sakata Trinidad, though, is its very modern and sleek design. Uh, you know, even though this particular aircraft was manufactured in 1990, it can stand toe to toe with any general aviation aircraft currently in production today. It has tremendous ramp appeal. I've got numerous contacts, not only from people on the ramp, but from control towers saying what an amazing looking aircraft this is. The other neat thing about it though is that not only does it look good but the performance are there to back it up. As I said earlier with a true airspeed of 145 to 150 knots it will get up and get you going wherever you need to be uh, in an efficient manner of time. I usually burn uh, about 12.4 gallons per hour at that aforementioned 150 knots, um, eight to 10,000 feet is really where this airplane likes to live. So this is me getting into my plane and I'm a pretty big guy. You can see you just kind of slip right in there. It is exceptionally comfortable. One of the widest general aviation aircraft out on the market. So if we take a look at some of the general technical specifications of the TB21, things that really jump out. Uh, maximum takeoff weight is about 3,086 pounds and the operating weight 2,160. That means it can carry about 517 pounds of fuel, which means with full fuel, you've got about a 409 pound payload, which is certainly enough uh, for two adults and two small kids, which means you can pack the whole family in and take them almost anywhere that you want to go to the limits of your bladder. Trust me, I know. One of the other neat things about this airplane is the fact that you can actually convert it to a, a cargo plane. The rear seats are fully removable, which gives you a really massive amount of rear room. I've used it in this configuration for my business uh, to transport things to my customers, to pick things up from my customers. But then uh, you obviously can also put it back within minutes into passenger configuration. Um, it is actually set up where you can carry up to three very small people, three, three small children. Now, obviously one of the big questions that everybody asks when they're looking at the Sakata line of aircraft is how easy it is to get parts and support when anything goes wrong with the airplane. And of course, that was a concern of mine as well. Fortunately, uh, the answer is fairly easy. Even though it is a French manufactured aircraft, it utilizes a lot of standard North American parts that are as easy to get a hold of as any other general aviation aircraft on the market. And uh, probably even more so than any other manufacturer base out there. The community of Zakata owners is exceptionally strong and we get a lot of representatives from Dollar, which is the current owner of the Zakata line of aircraft, on the forums all the time to help troubleshoot issues. The website is also an absolutely amazing resource for all of the technical documentation uh, and any other parts availability or cross-referencing that you could possibly need. I highly recommend you check out Sakata.org if this aircraft is something that's of interest to you or if you're just interested 
in the Cicada line of aircraft in general. All right, I just want to take a minute and talk about the interior of the Cicada Trinidad because really it sets itself apart from so many other general aviation aircraft just because it was designed a little bit more uh, around the idea of comfort uh, and aesthetics. So if you take a look at the at the dash here, you've got everything all set up. It's more like a like a car or a vehicle. All of the right side instrumentation is tilted towards the pilot. Um, and then everything here obviously is oriented uh, straight towards the pilot as well. But the beautiful thing about this is all of the major controls are within easy reach. Um, primarily what I love most are all of your um, you know, manifold pressure, your prop controls, your mixture controls, all of your flaps uh, and switches as well as your trim is all right here. So even though this plane has electric trim adjust, I never use it because it is so intuitive just to simply keep your hand here and run your hand on the trim and uh, it works so well that after a while you just stop thinking about it. Also within easy reach, um, all of your rudder trim controls and your fuel uh, switches. Again, right here, easy to get to so when you're switching tanks you don't have to reach down by your knees uh, and switch anything up there. So again, it's just a completely different take on traveling in a general aviation aircraft. Uh, I'm six foot two, uh, about 220 pounds. I've got ample headroom uh, in this aircraft and it's just super comfortable. It's like sitting in a sports car. Uh, I regularly take this on flights of over five hours at a time and uh, absolutely doable, not a problem. Extremely comfortable and uh, a pleasure to fly in. So let's take a look at some of the avionics in here. We're gonna start on the right hand side. You can see I got 2,178 hours total on this airframe. It's nice, low hours. Um, the engine uh, probably has somewhere in the vicinity of 200 hours total. So really it's just broken in. There's some new avionics uh, in here. You can see the uh, JPI, uh, EDM JPI. This is an EDM 900 engine monitor, absolutely amazing, I love it. Um, you got a Garmin 750, WAS enabled with a backup Garmin 430. Uh, this is also WAS enabled. So you've got two standalone uh, GPS systems for redundancy and two standalone comm systems for redundancy. Got your comm panel and your autopilot here. Um, and then again, all of your main switches and everything, these are actually circuit breakers. Um, and so they'll pop back up in the case of a fault or anything like that. Um, electric flaps, uh, you got two settings, takeoff and landing. Um, trust me, you know when you're in landing configuration, these things are like uh, air brakes. They're really, really cool. Um, and then taking a look on the other side, you've got some standard analog gauges. These are all really backup and again, redundancy as well. This plane was really designed as a cross country, long distance aircraft. So you've got your uh, 750 uh, tied in and your 430 tied in. Uh, and then you got your Garmin G5 in here for all of your critical information right here in front of you. Again, with backup analog gauges. Well, there you go, everyone. Just a brief overview of my airplane, uh, 425 Romeo Tango 1990 Cicada Trinidad TB21. I really can't say enough about how much I've enjoyed owning and operating this aircraft. Hopefully it's inspired a little bit of uh, interest on your part to check out these amazing airplanes. Thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the skies.